This year, our annual appeal focused on Be the One to support the Whiten Community Center and why the WCC is so important to those in our community. We reached out to our members, community members, board of directors, parents, students, and here are their stories. I was asked to share why I choose to give to the Whiten Community Center, and it brought to mind one of my favorite moments. For 33 years, I had the best job in the world, director of the Whiten Community Center. I worked tirelessly to make the gym a success so that it could head into the future continuing to serve the people of the Blackstone Valley. In 1990, when we renovated the space, which contained the building's original lobby, I decided to take out some old framed pictures from storage to display on the walls. One particular picture showed a young woman named Alice Bridges, who was a New England backstroke champion in the mid-1930s. In her early childhood, she was diagnosed with a heart murmur. Her doctor prescribed exercise to strengthen her heart. She chose the newly opened Whiten Community Center with its state-of-the-art swimming pool. At age 20, she was selected as an alternate on the U.S. Olympic swim team heading overseas for competition in Berlin, Germany. She swam in the backstroke competition and was awarded the bronze medal. She was one of the most amazing people I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. She showed me her bronze medal, told stories about Hitler in the Olympics, and reminisced about her days at the community center as a young girl and teen. Then we walked across the gym floor and I opened the door to our original pool and let her stand out on the deck. Her eyes swept across the pool and up to the balcony, where I'm sure she could still hear the cheers from the packed house of fans. It was a powerful moment for me. I think I already knew what the Whiten Community Center meant to many, many people in our area, but this really drove it home. The center helps turn dreams into reality. I was asked to share why the Whiten Community Center is so important to me, and I've created a video on how the WCC has helped me reach my goals and inspire change. Joe Dominich, WCC member since 2016. Being the one to make change is not easy, but it's not impossible. It's something that anybody can do as long as you're committed and you have the right mindset towards it. And today I'm going to be sharing my story about how exactly I went about this and I was able to make change and how exactly you can too. Hi, my name is Joe Dominich. If you don't know me or if you've seen me around, I'm a current resident of Northbridge. I'm an avid user of Whiten's Community Center Fitness Room. A brief backstory on me. Growing up, I was never an active kid. I was actually a very overweight kid, constantly made fun of in middle school and elementary school pretty much every day, maybe maybe if I'm lucky every week. As time went on, I actually ended up having to go to the gym. It was actually a requirement with football. When I first started out, I went to the Northbridge High School gym. It was this great little gym to start at, but it unfortunately closed down due to some school reasonings and I had to find an alternative place to go. So after taking a little bit of a break from the gym, I found the Whiten Community Center. And this community center then gave me access to a ton of equipment that I did not have access to at the high school. So treadmills, rowing machines, and other types of endurance type machine. Now for me, I love the weight training and resistance training aspect. I would stick with the free weights and I would stick with the machines. That is where I find most of my enjoyment and it allowed me to make a ton of changes throughout those four years. I've been going there since I was 14 and I'm now 18 and it's something I go to about five to six days a week and I enjoy it the entire time. The staff there creates a well-maintained and clean environment for you that makes it enjoyable to go in. I don't know about you, but I've gone into some gyms where it's just a sweaty mess and it's pretty disgusting. Nobody wants to work out in a sweaty mess, but the community center is absolutely not like that. Our Rockdale Youth Center students wanted to share why it is so important to be the one from their point of view. These are their stories. The Youth Center has been so accepting of me. I'm a very different person and very unique. I was nervous to come out and tell everyone that I prefer they, them pronouns, but everyone has made me feel so comfortable and has been very supportive. Piper Strait, sixth grade. RYC has helped me and my family by opening up for remote learning and helping me with schoolwork. This year, they have a new reward program that's kind of like Monopoly. If you do good in school and throughout the day, you can earn fake money and cash in to get prizes on Friday. This has been a great way for me to stay organized and keep track of my stuff. The staff is kind and awesome. I love it here, and I'm so happy to come here every day. The Youth Center has inspired me to know what I want to do after middle school. 
It inspired me to want to volunteer there. I also have a variety of adults to be inspired by. Like the program administrator, Jen, inspired me to help other people. She also inspired me to remember to take care of myself too. I love going to the youth center every day and can't wait to volunteer there next year. In 2014, Denise, the Aquatics Director of the Whiten Community Youth Center, was thrown into action using her knowledge of life-saving skills to perform CPR on my best friend and husband at the pool. This is why it is so important to be the one to give so critical life-saving training can continue. Here is my story, a quote from Tracy Sherman, WCC member. Four years ago, he was at the pool with me and he went into cardiac arrest. And he went from talking to being dead. And Denise completely took over. She and I got him out of the pool. I was frantic. She said to me, you need to go get dressed. And she started CPR. She got another swimmer out of the water who had never done CPR. They did CPR together, I got dressed. It's all very surreal to me, I don't know the timing. If it wasn't for an AED coming up to the pool when it came up, he would not be alive. He was shocked twice by the paramedics that arrived and he is healthy and wonderful and alive. And it's all because of our angel. So we were friends before this, but she will be our forever friend. And I love her with all of my heart. The Whiten Community Center is more than just a fitness center. We are a philanthropic organization that teaches and encourages the youth in our programs the importance of giving back to the community. Here are just a few of the student leadership projects we have worked on this year. The Yellow Tulip Project was 100% youth-led, where the Rockdale Youth Center and Blackstone Valley Children's Place students each chose a location of their choice for their Hope Garden. They created their own signs and shared stories about mental illness with each other. Each Hope Garden contains 500 yellow tulip bulbs to symbolize hope and happiness and to bring a beautiful splash of color to the community. The Veteran Giving Tree. Every year, the RYC students invite the local veterans for coffee and cookies for the holidays at the Rock Hill Youth Center. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, this annual community service event could not happen in person this year. However, the students still wanted to honor and support our local veterans with gifts. The Veteran Giving Tree was erected at the WCC in the lobby and decorated with patriotic ornaments and adorned with a variety of giving tags for everyday necessities. We are thankful for the generosity of our community for donating gifts to this great cause. The RYC students created their very own holiday cards to pair with each donated gift card and presented them to the Veterans Association of Northbridge in December right before the holiday. In partnership with the Blackstone Valley Emergency Shelter, the Rockdale Youth Center Girls in the Run team chose to support the homeless as part of their community impact project. This project was 100% youth led, where the students reached out to the leaders in their community for donations. They also worked with the WCC marketing department to create a flyer and to spread the word about the importance of this project. Donation centers were placed in the WCC lobby and the RYC for donations to be collected. As a result, over 100 survival bags were given to the BV Emergency Shelter to share with the homeless people in our community. Every year, the Rockdale Youth Center students visit the residents at Beaumont Rehabilitation and Skilled Nursing Center for the holiday to sing holiday selections with the residents. This year, with the pandemic, they unfortunately were not able to meet in person. The students were determined to still spread holiday cheer and decided to create a music video instead.
distributed with holiday cards to Beaumont Rehabilitation and Skilled Nursing Center just in time for the holidays. In addition, this year we were also able to share this good cheer with the Northbridge Fire and Police Departments and St. Camillus Health Center. I was asked to share why the White and Community Center and Blackstone Valley Children's Place are so important to our family. Here is my story. In our family of four, my husband and I work full time and have very high demanding careers. We are proud parents of two, our daughter Mia and our son Jacob. Both children currently attend the Blackstone Valley Children's Place. I was spoiled when my daughter was an infant. Thankfully, we had a very close family member who owned her own private daycare where our daughter could attend. Mia attended the family daycare until she was three years old when we realized she needed more structure. My husband and I started our journey looking at all the local daycare centers in town. It was so tedious and exhausting. I felt like time and time again, we were just another tuition payment when we walked in the doors and met the directors during our orientations. I was about to give up when my husband mentioned that the White and Community Center had a childcare program. We made an appointment and met with the BVCP director, who was by far the most warm and welcoming woman I had ever met. The structure of the program for our children's day was all typed up and handed to us the day of our orientation. Intuition was very competitive based on what we had already experienced. I loved that they allowed the children swim time and really dialed in on creative play. Mia started BBCP when she was only three years old and stayed until she started kindergarten. She and I were so sad on her last day, we cried. When we found out we were going to have our second child in 2014, we knew exactly the plan for him the moment that he turned two years and nine months old. BVCP has become a second home to us. It is a breath of fresh air, and I know that we are leaving our children with staff that truly care about the children as though they were our own. Our daughter has special educational needs and at times can be a handful, but the staff that works with her never gives up on her. Knowing that our children are being supported, cared for, and kept safe make parents like me feel good and at ease.